I think it's time we take the Blog Month Challenge again. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. I was looking at the calendar on my wall this week, and you know what? May is only two weeks away. Can you believe that? May 2016 is already here. Where is this year going? Wow. But you know what? This new month means a new opportunity. I think it's time we all take the blog month challenge again. Uh, You're asking, what's the blog month challenge? Oh, well, my friend, it's very, very simple. Write and post something new to your blog every day for an entire month. The goal of this challenge is to write something. (laughs) Consider it an excuse, for lack of a better term, uh, to uh, improve your writing skills and grow your creativity. It doesn't matter what you write about. You can write about anything. The point is to write something every day for a month. Now, some people, when they take this challenge, before they begin, they'll plan out what they're going to write about over the entire month. They'll give themselves a topic list to work from, and some even map it out to the day what they're going to write about. Others will just make something up on the day with no advanced planning, kind of the way I do it. (laughs) Again, it doesn't matter which approach you take. The goal is to just write something. Now, here's a few guidelines for you in taking the blog month challenge. Write more than one paragraph. This is a long-form writing exercise. Think about it. You've been on Twitter for how long now, and you've only posted 140 characters at a time. When was the last time you typed a full paragraph? Well, here's your opportunity. Type in more than one paragraph of long-form text to post every day for a month. Now, it's ideal to post on your own blog, whether it be WordPress, Blogger, Tumblr, wherever. But you're not limited to just your blogging platform. You can use any place you can post long-form text. Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram. Everywhere except Twitter, obviously. (laughs) And also, the last thing, write on the day you're going to post. Now, it's okay to think about what you're going to write about on the days before, but all this writing should take place on the same day you're going to post. The last time I took the Blog Month Challenge, I did it all on Blog Oklahoma's Instagram. I would take a picture and then write something related to that picture. I think I want to do that again. So this May, I'm going to take on the Instagram Blog Month Challenge again. If you want to join me on the Instagram Blog Month Challenge, here are a few tips for you. Take multiple pictures with your phone camera, not the Instagram app, and then pick one of those pictures to write about later in the day. Do all of your writing outside of the Instagram app. I'm sorry, it's really frustrating to try to type long-form text on a tiny phone keyboard. Do all your writing in a word processor on your desktop. It'll make your life happier. And if you're using a service like Google Docs, all you have to do is open up the Google Docs app on your phone, copy the text out of the uh, document, and then paste it in the Instagram. Also, be sure to take advantage of everything uh, Instagram has to offer, all their image filters and tagging and sharing of the services, especially the sharing of the services. And not only are you doing an Instagram blog month challenge, but you're doing a Tumblr and Facebook blog month challenge at the same time. And to, you know, use those filters because the filter can help you tell whatever you're trying to write about. For an example, if you use the sepia-toned, uh, early bird filter in Instagram, you can write your your tale, whatever you're writing about, to give it a nostalgic feel or something of age. Now here's a big tip. Don't share to the other services such as Facebook when you very first post into Instagram. So write up, you know, do your do your writing, paste it in, share your picture, post to Instagram only. Then come back and share to the other services. Uh, every once in a while, if one of those services go down, your face, your Instagram post does not go, does not happen. It fails. <laughs> I 
and it's frustrating as can be. And also, you might discover a typo here. This gives you an opportunity to correct it and then share to Facebook and Tumblr and Flickr and everywhere else. It'll make your life a little bit easier, even though the sharing is an extra step. It'll give you less headache in the future. And finally, don't forget to add hashtags to your posts. Uh, if you would, use the hashtag Blog Month and Blog Oklahoma to let us know you're taking the Blog Month Challenge. Oh, a word of warning when you're using hashtags on Instagram. You will, not if, will get like and follow spam. It would help everyone on Instagram if you would take the few moments to report and block those spammers. Believe me, that's almost a daily exercise when you're using Instagram. So I hope you join me this May and take on the Blog Month Challenge. You can follow me on Instagram at Blog Oklahoma, but I will also mirror all of my posts on Google+, Facebook, Tumblr, and my own personal blog at ProgramWitch.com. So this week's Blog Oklahoma writing suggestion is take the Blog Month Challenge with me this May. My top five albums of all time, or at least this week. Number five. In This Moment, Blood. Number four, Linkin Park, Hybrid Theory. Number three, Hole, Celebrity Skin. Number two, Boston, Don't Look Back. And my number one favorite album of all time, or at least this week, is ACDC's Black and Black. I'll have Spotify links to these albums and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. Well, it's been another week here, and um, I didn't get to walk every day like last week. Unfortunately, the weather still didn't cooperate fully. But I did manage to get out there twice this week. I had a good pace on both days, and I made it about 16 minutes per mile, which is just great. I'm, I'm getting up there. I'm very close to my 15-minute mile first goal. Now, walking around the neighborhood's been fine and all, but the traffic's starting to become an issue. I think I might just go down to our city park and uh, do my walks there. We have a really nice exercise trail there just for this reason, so I'll let you know how it all works out. So my fitness changes are right on goal, and I'll talk to you next week about it. Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? Then you already qualify for WebRing membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just explore the WebRing and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. Please visit blogoklahoma.com for more information. Hey, we're going to try a new segment here for a little while. Here are a few events happening near you here in Oklahoma. Oklahoma City is having their annual Festival of the Arts on April 19th through the 24th. It's a community celebration of the visual, culinary, and performing arts. I've been to a couple of those in the past, and they've always been interesting. Over near Venita, Oklahoma, you can attend the Grand Lake Renaissance Festival on April 23rd and 24th. There you can step back in time to 1529 to a quaint Scottish village named Queensferry. Actually, that kind of sounds fun. And on April 29th through May 1st, you can journey to the western half of our state and attend the annual Rattlesnake Derby in Mangum, Oklahoma. No way. <laughs> I'm kidding. Come to Mangum. It's going to be great. <laughs> These are just a few of the happenings here in our great state. I encourage you to visit TravelOK.com to see what's going on near you. I'll have links to these events and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. Did you know we have our own cafe press store? There you can purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. Just head on over to cafepress.com slash podcast. And also, the other blogs in the Blog Oklahoma network also now have their Cafe Press stores up. I'll have links to them and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. <laughs> I've also added even more great music at the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist. There is now close to, can you believe it, eight hours of music for you to enjoy. So you can listen to these playlists on Spotify and YouTube. I have links to them with everything else in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm 
happy to announce as of April 17th, 2016, Blog Oklahoma has 904 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Hey! Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.